Good evening, everyone. I always have to peek in the corner to see if it says live. We're on Facebook. Good. Once more. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeanette, the creator and the co-founder, one of the two of the Gratitude and Appreciation Summits International. Yes, and yes, Kathy, yes. It's Good. time for a little gas again. Yes. A little thankful we Thursday love reflection. Gas. Yes. Yep. Gas. We're giving you guys food. out there watching some gas. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I was talking to a friend the other day and they get a kick out of how we talk about gas. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I'm Kathy Fester and I'm a co-founder of the Gratitude Appreciation Summits International. And we are thrilled to be here tonight again with our second installment with our special guest, Jessica Williams. Welcome. Hello. To we are so thrilled you're back again. Yes, it's wonderful to be back. I really love you guys. <laughs> oh, well, we love you too. And and I know in my community, they love you as well, even though they don't know you. <laughs> What's your official role again? At I'm the executive director. Okay, good. So yeah. we know we what yep. should you do there. Executive director of the Access Youth Program here in the Tri-Cities in British Columbia. So um, last time we spoke, um, we got off the, off the air. Listen to me, I feel like we're on the radio. Um, got off of our call and you mentioned a young man who is a youth peer mentor in the gourmet program mm -hmm. and we were so taken with that story that we thought hey what an opportunity to share um, a success story um, that's reaching the youth because quite often um, the public view of youth especially teens isn't always favorable but I know as a teacher there's lots of really good kids out there so um, mm -hmm. why don't you share that story? Because I, I, I love this story. Yes. So um, this youth peer mentor, and I'm, I'm not using his name just for privacy reasons. Um, he did give me permission, though, to share the story, just oh, to awesome. make that clear. <laughs> um, so anyways, he was a part of our Youth Gourmet program before COVID hit, and we had to go mobile and virtual. So he's been with us from the beginning. Um, and when I took over Access in July, um, I was on the front lines with my team and I was a part of the deliveries. I was wanting to get to know my programs and everything. And I always had my eye on him, you know? I've, I've done a lot of um, clinical work and relationship building and I can read people, you know? And there's just something about him where I'm like, yeah, I've got my eye on you. And um, in January, when we were ready to launch our Youth Peer Mentor Employment Training Program, um, this youth in particular just happened to mention to me that he was struggling with finding work because he's 13, he doesn't have experience, he doesn't know where to begin. And, and I was like, well, I've got a program for you, my dear. Um, so he is a part of our youth peer mentor employment training program, and it falls underneath two programs. So it falls underneath our youth gourmet program. And this is where um, our youth peer mentors get paid employment because they go and help with the shopping. They learn how to do the grocery budget like because we feed 60 families on a tight budget, right? So there's learning skills in that. Um, and then they are also part of building the parcels and delivering the parcels every single week. Wow. The other part of the program where it falls underneath our youth empowerment program is um, they get paired up with our youth peer, I mean, our... Um, youth empowerment workers and they work on goals like building a resume, job hunting, practicing what you would wear to an interview, um, getting your social insurance number if you don't have one, setting up a bank account, like all these things that us professionals are so accustomed to, but these youth have no idea how to do it and sometimes they have no support at home. Um, so, you know, this is why we have this duality where they are paid in one program, but then they're volunteering in the other because they need to have both skills, right, to be a successful future employee. Um, so they get paid a stipend right now, um, and it is at the minimum wage rate, which I'm very proud to say because um, I, you know, minimum wage in BC is a little insulting. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, but it's nice that we can at least say that this is what our kids are being paid per mm -hmm. hour, right? Um, and so, yeah, as I've been working with him, I'm just watching him grow and he gets so passionate and excited. And one night we were doing deliveries together and he was starting to explore some of the goals he wanted to do with his um, youth engagement worker. 
and we just started talking and talking and he mentioned that he's indigenous mm. and I was like oh okay what nation are you and he's like I'm Mi'kmaq and I was like what what really what and and he's like why are you getting so excited and I'm like I'm Mi'kmaq and I've never met somebody Mi'kmaq that is not of my own bloodline like this wow. is absolutely amazing um so we had this wonderful conversation where I was able to educate him and enlighten him about the history of our peoples because we were one of the first nations to be colonized um, and there's a lot of politics in us being able to classify for our status and what have you so we just had this lovely conversation and now he's decided that this is definitely um, a goal that he wants to obtain his status card and he wants to get connected to his indigeneity a lot better wow yeah and it's just and it's such a small world it's such a small world because Mi'kmaq are from Newfoundland Labrador and oh. for us to be in BC together yes yes you know and and just from two completely like it's amazing it's amazing wow. and so I feel that like he and I have this forever connection with each other now um and then it's just it's also helping him grow and evolve and becoming an even stronger and better young man oh my goodness I, lo I love this pairing oh. Um, because as an, as an adult and Kathy and I are both into volunteering and both into our, our professions is understanding there is that part of life. There is, you just can't go head, pardon the expression, head down, butt up, and you're just doing your job, doing your job, doing your job you, to be able to be trained or not trained, exposed. That's the proper way exposed to volunteering. Mm -hmm. the, the value of that in your life, the value it gives back to community, because a lot of times people, think they got to give like tons and tons of cash that's what volunteering is but it's time and, it's um, time. and to have both of those two running parallel is is fantastic it's much like kathy as we say gratitude isn't a big ticket item gratitude is a small thing Absolutely. gratitude is felt small and it's like volunteerism you're just kind of we all doing it in the background and you know we don't want a big accolades but we know how important to it it is to our hearts mm -hmm. and to our community yeah. so bra I, I just want to say bravo because yeah. well, thank you that's, that's beautiful that this is what you um are holistically there's the magic word holistically um helping these these kids into into life yeah, and that's definitely what I wanted to do with having an employment training program is not just the hard, tedious work of labor, right, yeah. which so much of us experience, but but also to have that holistic piece, right, because, um, you know, there's community within work, right, yes. and there's connection within work and relationships and um, you know you have to learn how to explore and navigate those and, and balance them too right. Um, so yeah, this is, I think this program is, is really wonderful where we do have that duality. So our kids get to have, you know, uh, both worlds, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and his parents must be so thankful for this outlet for him too, because I know that he, you know, he's supporting the family as well. And while he's doing that, he's discovering his identity literally through you. And that is such a huge piece for these young kids, like I've got tears in my eyes. Like I'm just, <laughs> that connection is just, that's just amazing. And when you mentioned, mentioned which, which um, I was gonna say tribe, how awful is that? Nation. Nation, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Which nation he's from, I'm going, I don't recognize that from the West Coast because I'm pretty familiar with the West Coast here. To other coast. Keeping that concept of, how small the world really is. Oh yeah. You well, know? and I, I think too, within this relationship with him and me too, um, we, we have lived similar experiences when mm -hmm. it comes to our fathers, right? We get our indigeneity from our fathers. Um, and, you know, and we both have that lived experience of alcoholism being a problem, abusive father, um, you know, a, an inconsistent father, one that drops in and out of their life. And I think it was really important for him to know that he was not alone in having this type of experience mm -hmm. in his childhood, right? And, yeah. and, and I think it was important for him to also experience, like, not to toot my own horn, but, you know, an executive director lived that experience too. Yeah. And she's an executive director, hey? Yeah. Yeah. so yeah yeah and i totally feel what you're saying my, my sister has a foster son from the squamish nation and it's the same story and it's just yeah yeah oh my gosh bless your heart you are <laughs> thank you 
Oh my goodness, this was. Okay, I'm gonna let you wipe your tears because we gotta wrap this up, but I wanna <laughs> ask you, what is it that you need? Because we are, um, when you go to register for the our event on April 24th, that there is a donation there. So the donations, what is it that you need? Like what's that, just that little bit, even five bucks or two bucks, what is that gonna help with um, youth access? Well, it all depends. So um, um, a weekly donation of $35 a week will support a family in the gourmet program. Um, $250 donation will support a youth to be able to participate in our virtual art journaling group and our Just Move program because we supply them with the movement kits and the art kits. Um, so, you know, art supplies and sports supplies are kind of expensive, right? Um, so that is all, those I think are the big ones, right? Because our after or virtual after school programs are what's happening and really busy for us at the moment. How many kids are in the program? So for Gourmet, we have 60 families. Um, and then for our um, virtual art journaling program and for our Just Move program, we have two cohorts for each program and they have 10 kids in each program or in each cohort, I mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, if we did the math, there you go, people, and what what, yeah. what that is, and what, what their need is, and, and $35, if we kind of think of it right now, we're not going out and we're not spending a lot of money on meals and things like that, but just $35 when you register, uh, just think you're going to be supporting a family um, yeah. at Gourmet Food, and the program is that you get your food delivered, and then and there's a chef that they zoom in and teach you how to make that food. That, that warms that warms my heart uh, because I'm, yes. a, I'm such a foodie. Well, <laughs> yeah. Jessica, this has been um, enlightening, uh, emotional, uh, incredibly connectedness to this this world to people that the human connection. Kathy, yeah. wow! Mm -hmm. And I think you might have had they say your spidey sense is up, and this is why this this young man was was in your in your yeah. radar because yeah. spirit to spirit to spirit. Uh, yeah exactly so so beautiful thank you so much for joining us tonight jessica check okay. out those of you that are watching um the replay check out the uh website gas summit with one s gassummit.ca you can make a donation now you don't have to wait until the actual event on april 24th and i know it's a very worthy cause and this week is actually give back week it's sharing kindness week across the country so uh, reach out if you can. Um, anything is helpful. Doesn't have to be 250 bucks, but anything is helpful. And um, we look forward to talking to you again in March, Jessica. Thank yes. you so, so much. Thank you. Okay, um, we're warming up our hands. Right. Warming up our hands. And we do a one half and a one half. Give it a little pump. One, one two, two, three. <sighs> Kindness to the world. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank the you ladies everybody. are such a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're having a gas. That's why. <laughs>